Hello and welcome to Carson 100. Gonna review 2018 Infiniti Q50S. This is a sport version of a very famous and popular vehicle. This car is loaded with many different features, including all-wheel drive, a sport suspension. Let's check out this car from the outside and then let's jump inside. Let's go ahead. As you can see, this car looks really nice, very sporty. I like the spoiler, lip spoiler up front, very nice fog lights, uh, very cool uh, LED daytime running lights as well as up here. A very cool looking, very nice design overall in this grill as well. This sporty looking bumper is really well suited uh, in this design for this vehicle i like these headlights these headlights haven't changed much in the front but they have changed uh, in the rear so we're gonna look at that uh, later but these wheels as well very good sporty wheels now these are 245 tires uh, you have also akibono brakes up front and also in the back as well very good looking wheels as well this is a sport version of an infinity very nice uh, looking rim as well very sharp looking very sporty at the same time i like this bolster on the tire it implies that this car has a very good cornering abilities as you can see 3.0 liter turbo engine that has twin turbo carbon fiber trim options on this car as well uh, it's beautiful uh, trim pieces uh, of a mirrors caps mirror caps very nice very good door handles a very cool looking design as well this hasn't changed uh, since 2016 as well um, now in terms of the back you have the same tire size as up front these are the same 245 tires and uh, overall these 19 inch wheels really look sharp really nice brakes in the back as well akibono brakes once again very good looking um, rear tail lights very good design these are leds um, you have a, a rear um, rear light as well here you have very good led with the regular uh, light bulbs so you have this as you can see here this is silver sport so what this implies is that there is also red sport red s means the car has 400 horsepower so that's the, that's the only distinction that this car has compared to red sport car red sport has 400 horsepower this car has 300 horsepower very good dual exhaust in the back nothing much changes uh, compared to the uh, other vehicles in a q50 lineup uh, and this car only has a different wheels compared to the uh, infinity red sport uh, red sport has a more darker looking finish to wheels and they look uh, even sharper than these uh, very cool, lo cool looking wheel as well very good design as well this this is a very nice japanese type of design very sword type of design this has continued since Q40 with a Kachu uh, aluminum trim inside. Now these are very premium looking options and very good looking car indeed. Um, overall, I would say this car is really, really nice and really good, really sporty looking car. So in order to enter the vehicle, you have this uh, key fob, infinity key fob that has been on the market for quite some time now. Uh, you have remote access. Uh, key basically the keyless go keyless entry but you also have a push uh, button uh, remote start so you can start this car outside of the car you don't have to go inside you can start it outside that's really convenient feature and very good uh, way to the key as well so in order to enter you have the lock here and you have an unlock on a, as a sensor in the back of the handle and you also have a light here uh, very cool uh, very good design in the night um, very nice so overall as you see here very good looking uh, carbon fiber type of looking pieces here this is a very quality looking piece uh, I wish this was carbon fiber but you know you have automatic up and down uh, switches for all four corners of the car in terms of the windows very good looking feature as well 
and very good looking um, I mean very good feature and very good looking key so very quality type of material here as well um, in terms of the materials everywhere and leather very quite high quality feel you have a very nice uh, stitching that goes um, uh, double stitching here uh, matches the outside color very cool matches also silver trim inside very good feature very nice uh, integrated here you have also side seals infinity side seals very good looking infinity side seals you have a uh, all weather floor mats here as well with the regular floor mats that's pretty cool feature as well you have a sporty seats these sporty seats are very very high quality seats now these sports are very supportive seats uh, these sporty seats are very supportive and they have perforation here as well as you can uh, control the tie support as well in this car uh, very nice so we're gonna go jump inside and look at the interior As you can see in front of you, this is a very familiar uh, Infiniti cockpit and um, what's good about this car is uh, this car is very very uh, driver friendly and driver oriented vehicle. Now you have a very good shifter here in your hand at your you know at uh, your reach you have also very nice uh, looking q50 steering wheel up front this is a sporty version of a car so you get pedal shifters the only thing i would wish uh, also would be here is flat bottom imagine if this vehicle was flat bottom it would be such a nice and very good looking steering wheel indeed but overall in terms of the dials up front tack and speedo very good looking uh, very good in your face not too much not too little you have a very good uh, bolstering here at 10 and 2 so overall very good uh, feeling steering wheel in your hand uh, leather is a little bit rough but you know it's um, it's a very durable type of feel i like the uh, the design that steering wheel has been uh, produced with this year now i see that the little bit hints of bmw mercedes benz but infinity has its own flair into these cars and a very good feature overall in terms of the controls in terms of everything the switches everything feels high quality everything feels nice you have a very nicely uh, appointed materials uh, everywhere you're not gonna feel you're not gonna see or feel anything that is less quality than you expect it to be this car is a little bit over fifty thousand dollars and it is really justified here all the controls all the switches here you have a heated seats here as well everything feels nice everything feels good in your hand and let's start the car and as tech and speedo revolve you can see a very good uh, design of an infotainment in the middle and that's really nice uh, that's really cool as well you have a dual screens here you can manipulate them with the touch of course you have here touch as well uh, very nice very driver focused and very good in terms of the communication and how you interact with the screens very precise everything you're not gonna feel like this uh, is slow maybe a little bit compared to the BMW but this is in its own league in its own right a car that you can afford to the lease deals on these cars are really nice now and they always have been I, as much as and as far as I remember uh, infinities they have always been very good in terms of the uh, giving these cars to customers and actually uh, owning these cars are really reliable cars as well a very good cup holders here as well uh, you have a drive mode selector here you can put this car into any mode you want this is very very configurative vehicle and if you go into sport plus this car becomes very very precise in terms of the sport sporty nature of it and you if you go into the eco or standard mode it becomes really nice in terms of the uh, suspension it has a digital suspension this car it comes as an option for this car i suggest you opt for it because you're gonna feel that sometimes you want some sporty nature sometimes you want some comfortable nature of this car so that's really good as well navigation very good quality in terms of the dials and everything how it's laid out people complain about this dual screen layout but i really feel like this is something that is gonna 
be nice overall because they're not gonna interfere with each other so that's a really good feature this is something that you can actually use and have uh, accessibility and have a really good quality uh, in terms of the uh, usage you know you're not gonna feel like you're overwhelmed with it it's just gonna feel really useful to you uh, that's my opinion uh, also in terms of the middle storage here you have two USB outlets here you have the map stored here in this SD card you have also Audi aux input here you have a 12 power volt uh, outlet you have very good storage here not that deep but uh, really nice very good quality overall everywhere and as you can see this is really really nice The quality still continues in the back seats as well. You have the same perforated seats in the back. Less bolstering, of course, because this is a back seats. You know, honestly, um, I would think that the, the, there would be more leg room here, but that's the only downside to this car, I think. It is a little bit cramped for this class of the vehicle. That's the only thing that I see here that needs to be improved in a future car, perhaps. But overall, it's a very, very good vehicle it feels like this car is something that you know uh, you can use every day and it has very good quality you have this uh, vents in the back as well here so overall really nice in terms of the trunk space this car comes with many different things including the all-weather trunk uh, mat this is really useful you have the um, net here that you can latch uh, something down and you can so it's not gonna slide around you have also first aid uh, kit it depends what type of options you have with the car but that uh, this is really useful so you can just pin it here and it's gonna stay uh, you have also front plate bracket here which is not put on but overall you also can drop these seats down and you have more storage here as well and this trunk you know uh, you know, it's, it's a decent uh, size trunk. Let's check out what's in the heart of this beast. Famous 3.0 liter twin turbo, as implied by this badge. V6 twin turbo power. This is a very good, powerful vehicle, 300 horsepower. And it has a decent fuel economy, a little bit above 20 miles per gallon. So that will be really good in terms of usefulness of this vehicle, not just the sporting nature of it.